Lesson 2, the button event. First, we're going to make a two button, the button 1 and the button 2. I'm going to change the text of the button 1, which is enable. Then the name of the button will be button enable. The another one is disable. The text of the, the button will be disabled. Then the name will be button disabled. BNT disabled. We're going to make a new an another button, which is the button. It is the button. Okay, the button one. On the enable command, I'm going to type button one dot enable is equal to Paul to two. While while on the disable button, I'm going to type button one dot this dot enable is equal to false. I'm going to debug it. Okay, as you can see, if I'm going to click the button enable, the button disable, the button 1 will be disabled. I'm going to click the enable, the button 1 will be enabled. Okay, another button event. You can apply this on text. text box and another just type enable just type text box that enable is equal to true then text box one that enable is equal to false this is the syntax to enable and disable the button just type the application name that enable is equal to true or false. As you can see, the text box and the button will be disabled. While I'm going to check the only enable. Okay, another event from the button. You can also use the disable and enable this the visible and the visible button one that visible is equal to two then button one that visible is equal to false The button one visible is true, she going to show the button. While on the disable, she going to hide the button. See, the button one will be hide. Then I'm going to click the enable, the button one will be appear. Okay, another button event. I'm going to make a button 1 then text box then label this is the label 1 the text box 2 then the button 2 on the button 2 I'm going to to type a label one dot text is equal to text box one text box text box two dot text this command or this command is going to change the label one text into another example a uh, John then I'm going to click the button one. The label 
text will be changed. Cruzado. See? Also, you can use the button into adding, add, subtract, or multiply. For short, in math. Okay, I'm going to make a add button. I'm going to delete the label one, or or maybe not. I'm going to keep, change the face. We're going to add a text box. Then this is the label one. Okay. <clears throat> you can use this. Label one dot text is equal to convert to thirty two in two in in thirty two text box three text box two dot text plus convert to thirty two in text box three dot text Oops, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change sum. I'm going to int the sum. Then, as you can see, she convert. She convert the text box 2 and text box 3 into int, which is integer, to add the value or the number. On the label 1, that text is equal to sum dot to string. The integer or the number, the value, she cannot display it until you're going to declare that integer is a string or to string. Okay, on the first text box, I'm going to put a 5, then another is 10. Then I'm going to click the button. As you can see, he add 5 and 10. Okay. She add the 5 and 10. Another button event. What if I'm going to add a words? It is possible? Of course. String. Add words. Is equal to text box what text box 3 or i'm going to change it text box 2 dot text plus text box 3 dot text then i'm going to display that adwords adwords so i'm going to type this john on the another is cruzado as you can see, he display John Cruzado. Okay, thank you. That's from the button event.